Lesson number five. There is no blessing in playing it safe. The third slave, he looked upon his master as a wicked, harsh, and impossible man. This was his excuse for doing nothing. It was as if he was saying, I know you're unreasonable and there's no way to please you. So I've decided to not even try. He decided it is better to keep this money safe and give it back to him as he gave it to me rather than to take a chance and possibly lose some of it because then I would be in trouble. He was so fearful of losing that he was unprepared to try. And do you recognize what happened? He worked harder at maintaining than he would have had to work for basic improvements. Yes, because it took more effort to find a place to safely dig and hide it to be sure that it will not be stolen to watch over it make sure that that earth is never disturbed and so the money is safe than it would take to hand it to a banker and get some interest on it. In other words, even without going to work with it, if he had just given it to a banker, he would have made a return on it. Compound interest at 6% doubles the principal every 20 years. It's amazing how quickly that will pile up if it is carried on for centuries or millennia. In the early Roman Empire, legal interest was 8%. Yet, he got nothing on the money because he was playing it safe. What has God called you to do? What are the ideas that are in your mind? What are the creative thoughts that are buzzing around in your head? Why aren't you doing them? Why aren't you trying? Why are you afraid of going into ministry? Why are you afraid of taking on that task and doing that thing? There is no blessing in playing it safe. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. And though he falls, he shall not utterly be cast down. The Lord wants you to commend your path into his hands and try. Do something. Make something happen. Quit playing it safe. Playing it safe makes you slothful. You will do nothing with what you have. The slothful designation was the mark of the precise nature of this servant's wickedness. It consisted not in his doing anything against his master, but simply in his doing nothing for his master. Yes, doing nothing for God makes you a wicked servant. So there is no blessing in playing it safe. Let's use what God has given us for his glory and his purpose. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.
Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.